Now, I didn't come up with this recipe. I think uh, Samantha over at um, Mimi's Worms developed this uh, recipe for your own homemade worm chow. It consists of a bunch of different feeds. Smart Beats. Sweet Horse Feed. Classic Bird Feed. Dried Molasses. Timothy Hay, or Alfalfa Timothy, both. Cracked Corn. Egg laying uh, chicken mash, crumble type. Alfalfa whole oat uh, pellets that you can get from a feed and seed store or you can go to a tractor supply and get it if you need. And she has a big grinder that she grinds these up to a very fine powder and then feeds to her worms. That's her main feed. So instead of trying to find a specific worm chow or something, you just take what's available at most any feed store in your area and region and you just, um, well, you just use it, right? I don't have a big grinder, or, or so I use the same technique when making my catfish chum. I will take all the ingredients, put it into a container, fill it up with water, and let it sour, just like catfish feed. And once it's sour, I put it in the freezer, and then I can feed my worm from there, right? And that'll keep it from molding and all that kind of thing. I know she does oyster shells as well. I didn't go for that because one, I've got I eat enough eggs that I can just put the egg shells in, and that'll be enough for my size of, of growing. And I have a whole um, garden shed full of organic fertilizers that have plenty of rock phosphates, um, lime, and even things like seed meal or cotton seed meal, things like that, that would give them the same level of roughage. So, you know, I must say it works. This feed works. I was feeding them just some various flowers and things that I had, and they weren't growing at all. They were really scrunchy. They just weren't, they just didn't seem to be eating. They didn't seem to be healthy. They would eat it, but they weren't putting it on any size. And I said, man, and so I, I, I contacted Mimi's Worms and Samantha replied and said, how am I raising them? And she said, hey, here's a video about my feet and I'll include the video in the link uh, somewhere uh, of her feed operation. And I put this in here, it's only been about a week and it's growing really well. I mean, the worms are actually putting on a lot more size. I wish I had before and after, because before they were stringy and strongly, and now they're plumping up, right? And so that's good. And so you keep doing that for a few more months, and they should be really up to bait size, uh, no problem. If you want worms, I would suggest you just buy them from Mimi. I mean, I've had nothing but good luck from her worms. And uh, below is my affiliate link, so that if you buy from her worms, I'll earn, I don't know, it's like 5%, I don't know, maybe 10%, I forget what it is, something like that. So that's a way you can help the channel, you can get your worms you want, and you're supporting a worm grower who's really actually doing something, doing some really good things. Check out her blog, check out her uh, YouTube channel, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys when the weather clears and I can get back on the river.